Hello. What's up, guys? Welcome to Jay's Happy Memory. Today, I'm going to share my graduation speech at the College of Western Sydney University. Good morning, everyone. This is James from EAP5E. On behalf of EAP5 and reading and writing class, I would like to welcome all of our beloved staff, families, friends, and distinguished guests. Today, I want to share a little of my college life with three unforgettable moments with you. The first thing I shall not forget was the day when I was first landed at Sydney Airport. After 10 hours flight from Beijing, the captain announced that, welcome to the city of freedom, Sydney. This was the very first time in my entire 30 years of life that I fell in love with the city instantly. The reason was that I got the chance to explore my life with unlimited freedom. So here I am, Sydney. The second was the moment I received generous help from our beloved teachers. It was three days before the due date of our research report. My laptop was completely damaged by the spilled orange juice when I was running to catch the 7.40 a.m. early train. Because of lacking experience on data backup, my draft of the research paper, which was stored in the laptop, bid farewell to me. Oh yeah, bad things happen. You never can tell. I was totally frustrated then, even didn't know what to do next. However, when I told Paul about the accident, he comforted me and asked Fiona for help and even emailed Catherine later to inform her about the permission of my one day delay to turn it in. Though I only slept 12 hours in the next four days before I finished the paper all over again, I was so grateful for their comfort and help. In Westmead, for every single student, teachers are not only instructors, but also genuine friends who pass love from dedicated teaching. Also, I could not forget the moment when Miriam and I had finished our oral presentation and there was a long lasting applause from the audiences, including our teacher. Well done, Miriam. You did it, being a mother of a 10-year-old daughter and a lovely wife. She was doing her best to study English after countless housework every day. I shall never forget the moment I received the final version of our presentation scripts at 2 a.m. on Sunday morning. I knew exactly she was doing this after another tough day. It seemed like I could see her searching for relevant articles online with her sleepy eyes first open. I mean, together with tens of classmates who persistently try to master their English skills, I felt encouraged every second when I was on campus. Although the studying period of EAP5 was only a short 10 weeks, Millions of touching moments happened in our classrooms. With the kind help from our teachers and other staff, we got encouragement and tremendous opportunities to fully explore the potential of ourselves. Oh, I almost forgot. There is one more thing I do want to recommend, that is, Never take anything too seriously. Don't get me wrong. I mean, 
you do need to devote yourself to your English study and research. But be careful, because if you did too well, you will be first to give a speech about your learning experience during graduation ceremony in front of hundreds of people. Anyway, I just want to rush to the beach after the ceremony because Catherine always says that whenever you feel stressed or upset, just go to the beach and have a swim. Now, we come to the end. Class, well done. You are amazing. Please, please follow your dreams consistently. Strive to be the best version of yourself because you have been given the best stage to perform and you are the force to change. You are the person to write new history. Finally, congratulations to you all. Thank you, Western Sydney College. Thanks for watching. See you next time.